What is up, guys? My name is Coriola, and welcome to episode 39, damn, of my Out of the Park Baseball 17 franchise with the Kansas City Royals. We are here on the 5th of June, one day before the first year player draft, and we are sitting in first place, 33 and 22, although... Many of the guys, ratings-wise, are regressing, and some of our hitters, stats-wise, are regressing. For some reason, Ryan Orr is in the starting lineup. Our pitching staff has been phenomenal. There was one move I made right after the end of last episode. I traded Travis Bigelow, or I got Travis Bigelow for Bo Burrows, Lucas Giolito, and a throw-in prospect. So, Giolito was good, but... He was worth it to give up to get a better young reliever, who I think is better than Burroughs and Giolito. So, let's take a look at our pitching. Dwayne Underwood, 3-4-4, ERA, Chris, mother... Deerdorf, 1-6-0, earned run average. His walks per nine are a bit high, and his strikeouts are a bit low, and his BABIP is a bit low, so that concerns me, but he's having a fantastic season, so I'm not going to complain. Ventura, he seems to get it together, and then seems to just go to shit. Uh, he has a 3.84 ERA uh, through 61 innings pitch, but he, on the other hand, is very high BABIP, very high strikeouts, low home runs, so I don't really know what to think. Steve Truckee, has been pretty good, 409 ERA in 66 innings pitched, and Will Crow has been what our fifth starter has been for years now, 509 ERA in 63 innings pitched. He is getting through some games. Bullpen, Cody Gunter, 289 ERA, Bob Volmar, 111, and then Nick Jensen, 513. Kanan Cropper, 443, Allard, 382, Bigelow, 213 since he came over, and Russell, 338. Offensively, Galvin hitting 258 from the top of the lineup. He's getting on base at a 397 clip, which is definitely worth keeping his bat up there. Branson True, who I called up when Christian Walker went down, and Ian Happ and Christian Walker have both been just kind of, you know, going down, kind of back and forth almost. True's hit 260, uh, 286 with seven home runs so far, so he's been great uh, since coming up. Corey Seager hitting. Uh, 267 with six home runs. Walker in his limited time, 299, uh, four home runs. Torres, 313, two long bombs. Jimin Yoshimura, even though he's regressing, he's had a rough season, 222 and a 280 on base. Jose Añon, 277, 396 on base, seven home runs. He's been fantastic. Or has hit 133, and Salvador Perez is at 280. Why the hell is my dude Salvador not in the starting lineup? This is what happens when you let the computer make the decisions. They F stuff up. Okay, Jaron, you're only in center field until Ian gets back. All right, let's finish. Please just take me. There we go. Uh, Perez, 288, one home run, and Shelby, 237, one home run. Lineups, Hosmer is hitting 211. There's a chance I'm going to just release him. Because there are some guys in the minor leagues who I could call up, such as Billy Napier or Chris Cannon, both of whom have been doing well in Omaha. Top prospect Dustin Bingham's doing well in Northwest Arkansas, although he's injured right now. So if he continues to do well, we might see Yoshimura sent down and him called up. So we've got the first year player draft tomorrow. As game one of the series against Minnesota, we lose. That was Underwood's start. All right, we have the 27th pick in the first round. We are we did not nearly have the best record last year, but uh, because all the teams behind us used uh, their draft pick to get a free agent, we have the last draft pick in the round. This is the guy I want, Alejandro Cuellar. He's a catcher. He's 22 years old, 6'5", 230, and he can hit like a mother trucker. That's not the guy I want. Although he's not bad. I want Quailer. I doubt he's going to fall to me. 
This guy's probably going number one, Moses Fawcett. Of course his name's Moses. This guy's probably going number two, Kevin Petrie. Alright, we're in the draft. Let's continue. Arizona takes Fawcett. Oh, John Bullard goes number two. Not what I would take number two. Petrie goes number three. Then Ian Roberts, number four. Oakland takes Marcus Snack. Why is his name Snacks? He's a Snacks King. And of course, Cleveland. Stay sniping us. They took Matt Vogel, year one. And they take Coilar again. He's going to be a good player. All right, let's just go to our pick and see what's available. Interesting shortstop here. Pitcher, no. Left fielder, no. Shortstop, maybe with those contact ratings. Bobby Gorton looks like a good pick. I'm a bit put off by his low I rating. Mike Richmond, but he's a second baseman. And second base prospects just always seem to have really good potential, make it to the majors quickly, and then just kind of fizz out. We already have Dustin Bingham. We got a couple of catchers here. Look at them. Matt Cording. Not bad. But he's high school and he's small. Luis Estrada is high school and he's big. I like not Conrad. I like Bobby Gorton. He looks raw. But he looks like a good hitter. And he looks like he's going to get his make his way through my system quickly. I'm looking at Estrada for round two. And he's gone. No, he's not. Luis Estrada is still here in the second round. We will make him our... Just looking for some more pitchers. I don't see any. Ooh. I, I, we need a catcher, so if you take Estrada... He was born in 2008. That is ridiculous. I was born in 2000, and I'm just 16 years old. Like, that... Yeah, that other dude did not stay. He was good. I probably should have drafted him. He was a closer, but it doesn't look bad. Any of these second basemen pique my interest? Mike Richmond again. I'm going to wait one more round on Richmond, though. Third base? Ew. You strike out. You're not coming to Kansas City. First baseman? Can't hit the ball in the gap for some reason. I see that Matt Cording is still there. I probably should have taken that shortstop I liked. Damn, there's... Ooh, I like this first baseman. Tanner McNulty. He's got a nice name, too. We'll draft him. And there goes our second baseman. Oops, no. Joel Zeminski. I mean, Zeke, Justin Zeke's right there, too. But he does not look like a good prospect. So I'm not taking him. I'll pay $1.6 for Andy Allen. Why not? There's actually a good number of reasons why not. Another catcher. Ooh, but there's a starting pitcher. I don't mean to click on that center fielder, starting pitcher. I need to talk louder because apparently my last two episodes have been way too, way too, way too quiet. Oh, Joe Lindgren, shortstop. I missed out on a good shortstop. Another good shortstop earlier. I'm going to take him. And then we'll take. Not McCarthy. Did the guy I wanted go? No, he's right here. Mike Boyer. We draft him. We continue. There are a lot of three stars in this draft. See if we can find someone I like. Here's one. Bobby Mang, second baseman. Wish he wasn't a second baseman, but I'll draft him anyway. Alright. More. We've got how I looked at you. Joel Wheelock, another catcher. Why not? We need, like I said, we need catchers. Once we get down to the two stars, we get, we'll go through the two and a halfs. But once we get down to the two stars, that'll be it for me. Anyone here? Yes, Chris Gehring. I would like to draft you. I hate how they put it in alphabetical, so I tend to get a lot of guys towards the top of the alphabet. 
Another first base spin. Why not? There's a right fielder. You should completely ignore this entire time. And he's gone. See, he's not. Eh, I like him. He can't hit the ball in the gap, but... That's fine. I mean, it's not great, but I'll take him anyway. Alright, Zeke is still available. So is Matt Cording. Yeah, I'll take Matt Cording. Why the hell not? Another catcher. We get a lot of catchers, a lot of first basemen in this draft. And this amazing center fielder I just completely skipped over. Mike Clavenna. Welcome to Kansas City. Lawrence. There's so many catchers. Anyone else? You got a center fielder here. Pat Bletcha. Who? Oh, he's a two star. He's a two star. I'll take him anyway. And that'll be it for me. What was that? 14 rounds? I'm cool with that. I'm cool. And negotiations. Always fun. One impossible guy. Who, if he does it, if you want a ridiculous amount of money, I'll offer him. But he wants a ridiculous amount of money, so you know what we say to that? Boys and girls, we say absolutely the not. I probably shouldn't curse my brother and sister around today. We lose Deardorff start. Oh yeah, offered Taylor Blatt's my league contract, because he used to play for us. I think we're now tied with Minnesota in the standings. But we win the rubber match. So Andy Allen has accepted our contract offer. Just right clicked and then left clicked. I don't know what. Or left clicked then right clicked. We win against Philadelphia. We get Luis Estrada. And Corey Seeger has hit his 2,000th hit. I wish that was like a pop up because I don't know how many milestones I've missed. Ah. I'm close to a milestone myself. I am 32 wins away from my 1,000th win. Ian Happ is back, which means Osmer can stay for a bit longer. Where is he? Shelby, you're going. Is someone really going to claim you? They do. Good for them. They can have you. I like you, but I don't love you. Alright, let's just do that. Then... Okay, we gotta do this. Put Christian Walker. Nope, Christian Walker at DH. Jesus Christ, my game just spazzed out. Armando Galvin for can you just give me lineup? There we go. We got Walker batting eighth. All right. Interesting. And we'll get to the uh, National League lineups when that becomes relevant. We win the first two against Philadelphia. The rubber match gets rained out. So two guys left, including our first round pick, Bobby Gorton. We're at 5.05 in high school. What a guy. What a guy. Cleveland. We win. We win again. Bobby Gorton is coming to Kansas City. Nice little prospect who I am very, very encouraged Bye. And we sweep Cleveland. Nice. Just one more guy. And then I'll cut out and come back on July the 2nd. As Glavar Torres, our best hitter this year, is out for two weeks. But I don't want to put him in the DL. One, because I don't have anyone to call up. Two, because he... Oh my god, we just lost 19 to 1. So our last guy signs. Because... um. He would be on the DL for too long. Who was that? Bigelow struggled. Cropper struggled. Gunter really struggled. Wow, Gunter and Jensen got lit up. Why did you use them? Why didn't you just throw in, I don't know, Ash Russell and say, fuck you, Ash. Sorry, I should not. I like Ash Russell. 
How is Eric Fortner doing in AAA this year? I've not checked up on him. He's struggling. Interesting. So, yeah, I'm going to cut out Mouse, excuse me. There you go. That's what I thought. And I'm going to come back at International uh, Free Agency. As check out our lineup, our offense has gone on a hot streak, and everyone is hitting over 250 now, and everybody but one is hitting over 270. Holy, wow, our offense has gone on a tear. Galvin's got his average up to 294. Seeger's up nearly 280. Unknown's in the 290s. Torres is at 327 for crying out loud. Yoshimura's up to 250. And then our pitching starts struggling. <coughs> All right, I'll be right back. All right, we are back on July 2nd, and we are still in first place, although we did go on a bit of a cold streak in June. We lost five straight games, four at the hands of Toronto and one at the hand of Tampa Bay. We are still seven games, sorry, 13 games above 500 in first place and at International Amateurs, and the class got effed up this year, and they're all relief pitchers. So there's one, really only one guy I like, and that's Willie Ventura. He's a lefty. Uh, so, we'll slap a bit on him. I just hit my pop filter. Apologies for that, if anyone heard that. And there's really no one else in this class that I like. Maybe this left fielder will come back to him. We've got a second baseman, and... Yeah, we'll offer the second baseman this left fielder contracts. Although he won't... I cannot type 800,000 properly, but it's okay. And Cortez, we'll offer him 500, and we are good. Let's simulate forward. We've got Detroit game three. We take, and we take the series. We did lose game one. Now we got LA. Lose the first, sign everybody. In our international farm system right now, we've got two guys. One we just signed, so he'll be promoted straight to the DSL. And then we've got some our best prospect we just promoted out of uh, the international camp, which was Jonathan Ramirez. What a beast! And let's continue on. Game 2 against LA. Against Cody Medeiros. We win 3 nothing. And mid-season goals. Alright, team record. He's happy and that was just about it. We're we losing our hitting coach and our bench coach. Our bench coach is gone. I know who's going to replace him. Hitting coach... I will give him one more year. Mr. Henderson. Rubber match against LA. We take. Henderson agrees to the contract, so he will be back for at least one more season as our hitting coach. That 3 0 victory goes to Will Crow. And in the minor leagues, Nolan Watson is putting on a show in Triple A. So he is the next man up if someone goes down here. Now, Deodorf is still in the ones, and everyone else is in the fours. Boston, now three games, and then we get in the Mets, and then I'll cut out, come back near the trade deadline. Actually, I don't know what I want to do with this team at the trade deadline, because the offense has been great. Maybe bullpen. We don't want the back end of our bullpen to look like that. See, so yeah, I'll try to find just like an elite closer. Anyone else left on the international market? Nah. Alright, let's continue. Game 2 against Boston, against Kevin Segrist. We win in Game 3 against B. Brown. We sweep Boston. How nice would it have been to sweep them in three games in some of the past series. And now we've got the Mets. We've got Noah Syndergaard tomorrow night. 
We take game one. Against Cindergard, we win. And so the offense, the pitching hasn't been great, but the offense has been fantastic. I called up Richie Martin because Tony Alcala went down. Alcala's still out for a day. Martin is going to get sent down tomorrow after we check out the rosters. This game is rigged. <sighs> Chris Deardorff is going to miss two months of baseball. And it didn't even give me a notification like, oh yeah, by the way, you just lost your fantastic pitcher for two months. Well, he's in the All-Star game, but it doesn't look like he... And he was a Cy Young front winner until that, too. Wow, Gunter some excuse me, somehow makes the all-star game. Let's trade for Montes Dioka. He was on the block. He's a rental, yes, but he's a good rental. We could have gotten him easily this preseason. That's it. Just Gunter and De Gunter and Deerdorf. What would it take for us to Just out of curiosity, what did Texas give up to get Vinagre? I was thinking about this. He is a good player. Chicago... Okay, they did get a very good third base prospect back. But still... I give up nothing for Christian Walker, so I can't speak. What they get? Nicholas Sanchez. Just free agency. Oh, he was a... The uh, international free agent, that makes sense. That's why he was rookie of the year at age 28. Or 27. Um, okay. Bryce Montes de Oka. What would it cost? And the fact that there are four guys showing up here means that I can get him. First guy I'm gonna offer is Kanan Cropper. We could get it right now for Velasquez, Danny, Danny Velasquez, or Branson Trube, who has been struggling recently. But I'm fairly certain Danny Velasquez is our only good prospect. We give them... Not giving them Bingham. Brian Mills. Now... What about that guy we sent down to Triple H, Selby, Shelby? That chain that moved it a bit, but nope. Nolan Watson, we need Nolan Watson. How can we get Bryce Montes de Oca? Branson True, right now. We could do this right now. Can we get a prospect back? So man, these guys are good. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anybody? Nicholson just drafted. Swarm just drafted. Walker just drafted. Tony Alcala 2.0. And left fielder. The thing about True is we get rid of him, that means we have to put Walker back in the outfield, which I definitely do not fancy doing. I've been trying to unload Branson True for so long. And now someone's finally making an offer for him. Trying to figure out who they like. Mm. 
Ryan Orr. Ah, damn it. Billy Napier. Alright. Let's keep simulating. I'm not ready to trade for Montes de Oca right now. Alcala's back. Which means Martin is gone once again. And Nolan Watson is back in the bigs. In the starting rotation. We just lost our best pitcher. For until basically two weeks left in the season. And right away we've got Texas. Alright. Damn it. And we win. Then we lose. That was Nolan Watson's first start back. Right? It was not. It was Steve Truckee. Watson has yet to pitch. It will pitch against Houston. We lose the first. Los Angeles sending us a center fielder. I do not need a center fielder. Although, if you go away, yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. All right, Watson's first start back into Jeff Hoffman. We lose. And we get swept by Houston. We are game and a half above Minnesota. And we've got four against them. Five, five games against Minnesota. Now, we're three and a half up. One day, we go from one and a half to three and a half. It's nice. Being good. We need Dwayne Underwood to step up in a big way, though. After Deardorff went down. And Ben Chera. Richie Martin's back in AAA. Which I find hilarious. Nolan Watson actually did well in his first start. In the start against Houston. Did not give up a run. And this time he gave up a lot of runs. So it was 12-3. Yeah, we need bullpen help. That's just not a good bullpen. All right, rubber match against Minnesota. We lose, so we split the series with them. No, we take th three out of five. We did not split it. All right, now we got Chicago. All right, so let's search baseball for some closers. There are four guys that have five star rating. How many have been a ton? Yeah. Oh, we could have signed Luis Severino. He's actually been terrible. Preferably someone who's in arbitration so that they're not too difficult to trade for. And yet, I cannot see anyone who fits that bill. Besides Montes de Oka. We could... Jimin Yoshimura will now get us Bryce Montes de Oka. Let's start with Kanan Cropper. Good friendship right now with Branson Troop. But I need a major league outfielder back. So Seattle... Give me Jacob Cordero. Two struggling outfielders. We swap them. Cordero's making a shit ton of money. They like that. They Or they don't like that. You're literally giving me a guy who you're going to have to pay a butt ton of money for a while. Jacobson or I like Wiley a bit better. Oh, screw you, I need one of these guys to finish the deal. Damn it. Alright, let's go to our farm system, which is dangerous to do, especially considering how little we have actually in our farm system right now. Let's look at first baseman. We've got plenty of those. 
We got Napier. Who's the other guy? How about Carlos Feliz? Please just give me Bryce Montes de Oca. Let's check if there are any prospects that OSA likes that we don't. Because they'll generally have higher trade value. David Cordova. They like David Cordova. Damn it. He was a one and a half for. Still just the same two guys. I want Bryce Montes de Oca. Alright, yeah, that's not working. Let's look down a bit. Someone who has not yet hit free agency. We've got three guys. A Met. Alright, I want him. A Blue Jay and a National. And that's going to be the hardest to get. Unfortunately. Ah, don't you love this game? Alright. Maybe I can go like eight years. That add one person to this list. Who is basically out for the season? There are no relievers. I meant to do six. We've got a giant who cannot pitch this season. What about that? Was what we were at? God, this is so frustrating. I mean, like 50, yeah. Preferably at oldest 30. Miguel. Miguel. Not Miguel. I'm going to cut out. I'm going to try to get Deoka. I'll be right back. Alright, we have this deal set up with our favorite trade partners. The Los Angeles Dodgers. Let's see if I can get one more guy in this deal. No. Alright. So, we are giving up Kanan Cropper, that's his stat line right there, not too impressive, and Branson True, who has really, you know, gone down since we acquired him, in exchange for David Dahl, who is a veteran on a one-year deal, who can hit the ball, he hits the ball well, and a controllable closer, who is 30 years old, but he's got good ratings, and he's only three years into Arbitration, so we will complete this deal. There said that we... Excuse me. You crashed because I got rid of Branson True. The guy's been sitting in AAA doing nothing for the past... Three years? So... Doll's gonna start for us and left. Wait, is he better? Hap's got 45 in center. Dahl got 60 in center. Alright. So yeah, David Dahl's gonna start. Let's see how we can set this line up. Perfect, except for that. Alright. And it looks like Eric Hosmer lives to see another day with the Royals, although. This will probably be his final season in Kansas City Blue. Christian Walker is hitting well. I don't know why his war is always so low. But, um... So yeah, this is our team moving forward. I'm happy with the deal we just made. Not a closer but a good pitcher we just acquired and I'm happy with that so we've got five games left before 
the deadline. Minnesota wants to send us a right fielder for Dwayne Underwood. No thanks. We win the first two. Christian Walker's out for a week. That's fine. Is Glebar Torres back yet? Yeah, he is. I cry every single time. Considering... I gave up this guy to get him. He's having a rough season, which makes me happy because he's going to be so good one day. And I'm going to so regret that deal I made last season. Lose game three badly. He's hit Wilson's coming over. We'll consider expending him. Who pitched badly? Underwood, mostly. But the entire bullpen contributed to the struggles. Can we win the series? Nope, we split it. Alright, and today... Alright, sorry for the interruption. Trade proposal from Oakland. No thanks. Last day of the deadline, we've got three of Detroit. I'll simulate that, and then call it quits for this episode. Alright, game got rained out. Development update. Truckee goes down. Deerdorf goes down. Allard goes down. I don't know. Why is he going down? Ah, uh, this game. So he's only hit 14. He's only on pace for 14 home runs. Walker goes down. Dell goes down. Anthony Sonano. Or Soriano. Sorry. Goes up. God, I cannot see out of my left eye anymore. Sean Robinson goes back up to 4.5. Because he was down to like 1.5 for some whack ass reason. And Justin Houston is the last big one. Except for Dustin being what? Are you kidding me? He was a five star. Seconds ago. What is with JJ Piccolo? Alright, anyway, simulate these. Actually you know since the game got rained out I don't feel any OCD responsibility to finish the series. So thank you guys for watching. We are currently first place in the American League, second place in baseball. Hopefully we can make the playoffs for, I believe, what would be the second straight year and see if we can defend our American League title. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you again next time. Goodbye.